Hey guys, what is up? It is Connor here, bringing you an MW3 MOAB, and we are playing some domination on mission? Yeah, that's what we're doing, domination on mission with the M4A1. This was me kicking off the, um, starting to get some MOABs with the assault rifles because I already got one. Just finally got one with my PM9. Man, that took me forever for some reason. I don't know why. I was having troubles, but I'm done with the S SMGs or some machine guns, and I'm moving on to assault rifles and shotguns and whatnot and whatsoever. And, but this is not about the gameplay. This is, it is written episode. I have no idea. That's why I stopped putting them in the, <laughs> putting them up in the title. Plus, it took up too much room, and I didn't like it. So, today, we are going to be talking about death. This is, I don't know. I have a certain reason for putting this up here, and I'll tell you about it in a second, but... This is a little different. This is nothing. I don't have any notes written down. I mean, I did look up some stuff, but I don't have any notes in front of me. This is all just coming from coming from my heart, I guess you could say. And the reason I'm putting this down is because my grandma just died like two days ago. And I mean, she, I, we were really close with her. She was our only relative that lived around us. She lived about five minutes away, ten minutes away maybe. And then we also had a great aunt and great uncle that lived like 15 minutes away. But besides them... My next grandma and grandpa live in South Carolina. My aunts and uncles live in South Carolina, New Jersey, California, Washington, and the Netherlands. And so she, we were really close with her. We, we saw her every week at least. And she just passed away. And so it's been a pretty rough time. We're going, we're getting ready for the funeral and stuff. And it, I mean, it's been pretty tough. And so I just decided, I was like, you know what, this will be a great topic because everybody, the first thing you think of that people, you hear people do right when someone dies is they're like, oh, God, why did you take them away from me? Why did you take my loved one, my relative, my friend, anybody? Why did you take them away from me? Why would you do this to me? And you automatically put the blame on God. We're really, it's, it's not God's fault. Everybody dies. Everybody has their time coming for them. And... I mean, I'm sure you guys know about that Aliana Lemon or something like that. That little, like, nine-year-old girl that got kidnapped and killed by her uncle. Or not her uncle. <laughs> I lied. Um, by her neighbor. That guy that one of their family friends that had come over to watch him. It was national news, guys. And But the thing is, that, that literally happened. That neighborhood that happened in is less than two miles away from my house. She was... Um, found in the dumpster at a gas station that I walk to all the time or ride my bike to that I used to ride my bike to and walk to with my friends all the time it's literally that trap that gas stations like three-fourths of a mile away from my house and I'm sure you guys heard about that and I mean automatically people are like god why would you take away this little girl she didn't do anything wrong why would you have this why would you have him come out here why would you have this sick man come out and just kill her why would you take him away but guys it's not god's fault god yes god knew it was happening and he could stop it if he wanted to but that's not it all has to work out there's all something that comes from all of us we might not know we might we might not even ever figure out why what happened but for all we know this could have stopped this guy from doing many more terrible things this could have I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe this girl would have grown up in an awful life, and now she'll get to go be with the Lord because because of this. And really, God says in, I don't remember where, but I, I read this a couple days ago. He says, I, I, um, it is great joy when someone is born, but it is even greater joy when they come to be with me or when they die to go go to the Lord. It's even greater joy. It makes them happy. They go to a better place if you if you believe in this like I do. And... If not, I mean, if they're not a believer, then yeah, it's not. It's not really a good thing. They're not going to go spend their time with the Lord. They're not going to go up to heaven or anything. But for those believers, they get to go up to the perfect place. They get to go up to heaven. They get to spend the rest of their lives forever and ever in in roads paved with gold, as it says in the Bible. They get to go up and worship God, and um, they get to go be with Him 24-7. And that's what, that, I mean, you just need to start to rejoice. I mean, no one wants to hear this crap. No one's like, I mean, we're in freaking health. I remember we learned about um, the grieving process. Who cares? I don't need a book to tell me what the grieving process is. I can go through the grieving process myself and figure it out. I don't need this. This book's not doing anything. They're like, first you're going to be mad. Then you're going to mourn. 
then you're gonna go need to find help. Who cares, dude? I don't want to hear this. I want them back. I want my grandma back. I want my mom back, my relative, my aunt, my uncle, my friend. I want them back. I don't want any of this other crap, but... I mean, they're going to a better place if they're going to heaven. I mean, that should be something to rejoice about. That should be something that makes you happy. You should, um, you should be happy that they that they're going up to the better place. And there's a song by um a band called Mike Mains and the Branches, and in it they say, um, he writes a song. Oh man, that was massive, like gulp thing. They write a song about this his friend's daughter who was like two or something ended up dying and going up like dying from um i don't know like heart something was wrong with her heart and she ended up dying and he wrote a song and he says i can't bring you back but i will live to go to you so he can't bring her back from the dead but what he's gonna do is he's gonna spend every every waking moment making sure that he will go and see her later on he's gonna make sure he's following god and doing what god wants him to do so he can go see her in heaven that's exactly what you should be thinking if you're for example my grandma's going up to heaven now i'm like well now i'm gonna miss her for my next however long i live it could be one day it could be 10 years 100 years i don't know but i'll go up i'm gonna live so i can go see her again later that should be a driving motive instead of getting mad at god and being like god why why would you take them away from me? I can't believe you would do this to me. What have I ever done to you? And then completely shunning them. Now you will never see your grandparents or your whoever it is. You will never see them again. But if you go, if you live, if you live to go up to see them again, you will after your 70 years or whatever here on earth, you will go up there and you will be with them for eternity, forever. I mean, that's so hard to imagine. 70 years, we've already got recorded 2012. I mean, that, and there's so many more, plus so many before that, before the world even began or whatever. I mean, you will go, and you will, in happiness, too. For example, my grandma was old, and she was sick, and so, I mean, she wasn't really having that all that great of a life, And but when I go up there, she'll be young, she'll be uh, all new again, and energized, and not not in any of this pain or anything. She'll be, she'll be happy, and it'll be great to see her up there again. So, I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to say here is, I mean, we all we all want to get mad at something. We all want to place the blame on someone else. We all want to bring them back. We all we're just so mad and angry that someone would take our life away, whether it be another person taking their life away, as in this Aliana case, or whether it's just dying of just natural causes or whatever, like in my case. I mean, we want to be mad at God or we want to be mad at that guy, but you need to pray for that guy, that that guy would change his life, that he would see what he did was wrong, and that he, I mean, what it, what he was thinking was just unbelievably sick, and what you want to do is, and then I need to, I mean, I realize it's better for my grandma now. She's going to be happier. She actually wanted to go so i mean it was good it was what she wanted it's why if she wants it i want it she's going up to a better place aliana went up to a better place she was aliana was living in a neighborhood where like 17 out of the like 20 something homes had sexual child predator whatever they call them register ones in that um in that edition which is just crazy i mean you can't something's bound to go wrong when it's like that so god was god maybe brought her out of this environment before worse stuff even happened i don't know guys but there's a plan behind everything i know that's not what you want to hear when someone's dead you're like why did he do this not he there's a reason behind it yeah bull crap there's a reason but there is i mean there's if you just look on it there's some reason i mean i guarantee it even if you don't know it's gonna happen there was a reason they were taking away they're they're going to a better place and if if they're not a christian right now and you believe in this stuff you want to go out there you want to get them um you want to help them know it because you want to see your friends you want to see your relatives your friends your family all those people you want to see them go to heaven so that when they die you can die and when they die and when you die you'll go up to see them again so death should be more of a driving um it, you should almost be rejoicing if they're first off you should be living to help other people go to heaven and then once they die and go to heaven you should be rejoicing that they're going to a better place you should be happy they're going to a better place then once they're dead, you want to make sure you live to go to heaven so that you will go and see them and live with them in eternity. So hope you guys enjoyed this. This just all came from my heart right there. I don't know, just po uh, basically pouring it out, you know, saying whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed the video and all this stuff. And I'll see you when I see you. Adios, guys.